I'm Dane. I'm Mallory. And this is Drive Through Movie Review. We just watched The King's Daughter. King Louis XIV's quest for immortality leads him to capture and steal a mermaid's life force, a move that is further complicated by his illegitimate daughter's discovery of the creature. I didn't hate it. I, you I, know, I, I I agree that it was, it's not a, it's not that great of a movie. It's not that good of a movie. But there's something endearing about it. I don't know. I Pierce Brosnan made quite the French dandy, except I for the loved fact that everyone had a British accent over... for a French movie. Like the tone was so like nothing matched in tone. Like the oh, music yeah. didn't match the movie, didn't match the narration. There was just no foundation. For no, anything. there was no foundation, no focus. The movie was kind of all over the place. The second half of the movie, I kind of like because it finally the stakes bit. were added to the movie. The first half. There's no tension. Everyone was just going through the motions of a movie. And we're just getting from point A to point B. They structure it like there's a mystery going on. There isn't a mystery. <laughs> so they have these reveals that like could have easily like would have been better just playing out earlier in the movie. There I, were I, just some odd choices, but there was like I said, there was some nice stuff I liked, which probably came from the book. The Sun and the Moon that this is movies based on I, I can see a decent story in this yeah the movie didn't translate it well I don't it. Think. it just wasn't good I mean and I I love a good so. period piece <laughs> I love a good fantasy story this should have had all the things that I wanted it did had did not have any of them well uh, yeah we're not really recommending this movie no nope. I'm not gonna rewatch it again if I see it on HBO Max I might point at it and laugh but that's it. So harsh. Oh, no. I... I... <laughs> well, until next time. <laughs> <laughs>